Hey YouTube, what's up? This is Brian Easy, just coming back to you guys today with a request. So I got asked to look at Windows 7 Ready Boost. Now, first of all, let me explain what Windows 7 Ready Boost is, if you guys don't know. Basically, on an old laptop, so if you have a new computer, guys, don't really worry about this, but if you know someone with an old laptop or a really old computer, then this will indeed make a pretty big difference. So, for instance, this is my wife's laptop, guys. It's a old, like, five years old. It's, um, you know, it's, it's very slow. It's only got 512 megabytes of RAM. And it's all my wife needs. All she does is check YouTube. All she does is check Facebook, check email. So it's just a real, she's just a casual user. She doesn't need a powerful system. So guys, basically what Windows 7 Ready Boost is, is that it uses, you know, Windows 7 automatically uses your hard drive. When it doesn't have enough RAM, it'll use your hard drive as what's called virtual memory. So what Ready Boost does is instead of using the hard drive as virtual RAM, it'll use this USB flash stick. And now a USB flash stick, a USB 2 flash bit stick, guys, will be faster than a 5,400 RPM uh, hard disk. So it won't be faster than an SSD, of course not, but it, you know it will be faster than an old school hard drive. And so this here is going to make a little bit of a difference. So. Uh, without further ado, let me get on. Let me show you guys how to do it. So basically, for this, I've got a two gigabyte USB flash drive, and all I'm going to do is put it in here. So I'll put this in here, and basically, guys, the bad thing about this is it will take up a USB port. So when you want to use this, it's going to take up a USB port. Okay, so I'll just zoom in there to show you guys what options we've got. Okay, so I'll lock. I'll take off the autofocus too so it doesn't blur. Okay guys, so we're in focus now and hopefully once you insert the USB stick, you will come up, it'll automatically come up with a menu for you, okay? So this is in Japanese, so sorry my wife's uh, computer is, she's Japanese so her laptop's in Japanese, but basically all you want to do is click on this icon here with the clock and the USB stick, so it's system ready boost, so speed up my system with ready boost. You want to click on the option, the third option, so use the device for ready boost and we're going to use in this case I don't need this USB stick guys it's a it's basically one that's just sitting around my house doing nothing I've got like two other four gigabyte ones so I don't need this two gigabyte one anymore and I'm just going to use the whole thing obviously if you use your USB stick if you've got a four gigabyte and you only want to use two gigabytes then take it all the way down to half or you know and use half for files and use half for ready boost but I'm going to use the whole thing in this case and I'm going to click apply and that's going to be getting re ready now. So yep, and that's all. That's all, guys. It takes no time at all. The only negative is that it uses up a USB port, as I said before. So it uses up a USB port, and obviously it uses up a USB stick as well. So the negatives aren't that bad, though. So I think the positives, as we see here, we'll just spam in a few sites. Sorry, this keyboard's pretty bad, but uh, we just you know, and it's just so much less sluggish now. So. We can just do so much more on this old laptop that we couldn't do before. And it's just amazing. I'm, I'm pretty surprised. So, uh, just really amazed. So, it's, it's really cool. You know, you can pop up eBay there, whatever. You know, and you can just pop up all these sites and it's just a lot less sluggish. So, overall, guys, the positives far outweigh the negatives of Ready Boost. Uh, thank you, Cotosaurus, for showing me this. He actually told me this, mentioned this to me. And it's actually really good because now my wife's going to be happy because her laptop... She just went out for today, so she's going to get back and she's going to notice that her laptop is a lot faster. So anyway guys, if you've got a partner or you've got a friend or anyone who has an old sort of laptop and they just want to get that little bit of extra performance out of their laptop, then this is a very, I really recommend doing this. It's really good actually, I'm really surprised. So anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this today and if you've got any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. So, and otherwise, yeah, peace out for now. Brian Easy, bye.